Welcome back to Peek Into COS. This episode is brought to you from the Studio 809 Community Podcast at The Next Us, a professional cooperative environment for small businesses in downtown Colorado Springs. Today, we are joined by the husband-wife duo, Flip and Maritza Aguilera, creators of Best of the West Wings Fest. Thanks for being here. Glad to be here. It's great to have you here. Today's going to be a little different than our typical peek into COS interviews because we have chicken wings with us. And we're going to try them out as we chat. And Flip and Maritza will tell us about what kind of things we are here having today. So... Talk to us about, like, the Golden Flame. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, so Golden Flames, Stetson Hills, they are one of our competitors. Mm-hmm. Um, this is now their third year with us, and the festival is three, three years, years old. old. So they have been with us since inception. Got it. And they, it are, is, they are two-time winners, too. They are oh, wow. two-time winners. Yeah, okay. Yep. Um, they are a husband and wife duo as well, so they have it in the family. Uh, James and Rhonda Robinson, they're super sweet couple really nice family people um they bring out their whole family for wing fest and they're slinging wings all day and having a great time that's awesome now we also have beer we do. from lost friend brewing yes yeah. okay the folks over at lost friends have provided us with um their sour that they have on top uh right now um and they have a ton of other delicious beers um and a really great facility over there okay mm-hmm yeah. And do we have a cocktail? We do. We have a cocktail <laughs> 1350 too. of we all have, places. We okay. have a cocktail from 1350 uh-huh. Distillery. Yes. Um, the cocktail that we have right now is the one that they'll likely be serving at Wingfest. They were with us last year slinging up cocktails for our attendees. Um, and it's made with their strawberry infused vodka called okay. um, Blood and Guts, Old Blood and Guts. <laughs> mm-hmm. So if you see it in the stores, make sure to. Pick it up. It's really good. It's well, good for I your blood and guts. With your blood and guts. Well, I think <laughs> with that setup, we should take our first bite. I All mean, right. Are okay. you ready? Who are we? Who so in case? this right. first one is the actual flavor is the golden flame. The golden it is flame. the golden flame. Let's see how we're going to do it. All right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, that is good. That's very good. Yeah. Has mm-hmm. a little little spice to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not too horrible. No. But, but full of flavor. Full of flavor. Oh, mm-hmm. my gosh. Yeah. It doesn't even need ranch. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. A little bit sweet. Yeah. And then the kick comes in a little right. bit later. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, that's mm-hmm. a um, that's a great way to uh, to start. And I think I have to... Uh, have a drink. <laughs> at least have a, a thirst quencher. Wings here. and beer. They're a thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Other duties is assigned, I would say, to listeners out there. All right, so between bites and sips, mm-hmm. um, I know that you two are not native Colorado Springs people. Neither am I. Uh, but tell listeners what led you to come from Miami to Colorado Springs and uh, pick up your lives and businesses. And here we are in, at 6,300 feet <laughs> mm-hmm. from yeah. sea level. From sea yes, level. from sea level. So we are originally from Miami, Florida. Yeah, well, I like raised. to say that I'm originally from the universe, but born in Miami, Miami Florida. Florida. Yes. Yeah. And a friend of mine had moved out here, and I actually introduced her to her now husband. And they moved out here, and before I even met her, I, I would come and visit and uh, mountain bike my life away and do all these fun things. And in my mind, I was like, I, I need to come and live in a place like this. Wow. And then Flip, it's so different. <laughs> it's mm-hmm. completely so, so different, different than Miami. So yeah. different. Completely different. And then different. we started dating. And when things started getting serious, he was like, well, you need to meet the BFF. Right. So our first trip together as a couple was to come out here. And, of course, I fell in love with this place. How many years ago was that? Um, well, it was a five-year plan for us. And we've been here now four years. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine years ago. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, and then... After that first trip that we had together, we started coming two, three times a year, and here we are. (laughs) Yeah. See, of course, what you really do kind of represent is what happens when you come for a visit. Yes. Yes. I I try to warn people. (laughs) um, Yeah. People will look at those mountains, and they'll jump on those bikes and, and the trails, and the next thing you know, like, 
are there jobs here? You know, yeah. Yeah. are there what, jobs? What we yeah. talk yeah. with the with the chamber, our, our friends at the chamber about is that today's tourist yes. is tomorrow's talent. Yes. yes. And the two of you, that shoe fits yeah. really well. Well, one of our friends that was in the caravan with us in July of 2020. Yeah, that as helped we, us move here. That helped us move here. He spent a week after we got here. He spent a week here. And we showed him around to all of our favorite places back then. And now he lives here. Yeah. He's been here for a year and a half. So yeah. he came back. He was like, as soon as, before he even left, he's like, I need to find a way how to live here. This yes. is this is amazing. And now he's here. And now he's here with his girlfriend. So, of course. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and did he come from Miami as yes, well? Yes, he yeah. did. He did. Okay. Yeah. We have more that are thinking we about it. We have more friends that are, we, we're bringing the 305 to the 719. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can definitely, definitely relate to that. All right. So I want to make sure that we don't miss a chance to take a this is truly a chat and chew yes, yes. <laughs> right yes. Yes. okay yeah. so should we take another bite and then keep talking yeah yes. sure and so what's the next one the is next one. colorado fancy colorado mm-hmm. fancy it's a little hotter let's okay. see what this is going to be about right. hmm. oh, yeah. um mm-hmm also sweet in the beginning. It definitely has a sweet, mm-hmm. a sweet start. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's nice. Mm-hmm. I like. That. I don't think this one has as much spice. No. No. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm okay with that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. This is nice. We'll do. We'll keep. All right. So let's do this. You got here. It's been three years. Okay. Four. Four years now. Four years. Mm-hmm. Um, where did the idea come? for the best of the West Wing Fest. Okay. So in Miami, I had my own personal training business, but we move here in 2020. What's going on in 2020? The end of the world as <laughs> we know much. it. <laughs> right? Not yeah. Much. There's not a lot of room for personal training. And I actually came here to start the self-defense school, which I have started in this very same building right? downstairs. So that has actually come true. But in the meantime, I had to figure out something to do and a way to try to make funds. So we had started some other events in town called Memoirs, True Stories Unfiltered, and Nerd Night. Mm -hmm. And to get those events up and going, we joined a bunch of Facebook groups. Mm -hmm. And what I realized in going to all those Facebook groups is that people take their Facebook groups very seriously here. Like, they are very active in them. In Miami, that's not a thing. Nobody Mm -hmm. goes to a Facebook group to find out what to do. Yeah. Yeah. Right? They just find out some other way. Actually, there's something going on everywhere in Miami. You just got to go outside. Yeah. So I go to these groups, and I start posting, and I start, you know, learning the the lay of the land. And one day, somebody else who had recently moved said or asked, where are the best chicken wings in Colorado Springs? And I love chicken wings. And he calls me over, and he's like... Babe, I'm going to follow this thread because we're going to eat at so many different restaurants and yes. find the best wings in this place. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> and I didn't, you know, again, I didn't have any thought of doing this, no. but I did the smart thing and I started to put the names of the restaurants into a spreadsheet okay. because I'm never going to remember them, right? Right. So I start putting them in a spreadsheet and I'm following the thing and people are posting on it. And eventually somebody's like, oh, you know, I just moved here not too long ago and we used to have a wing fest where I come from. And I was like, you know, I didn't think anything of it. Really? But then somebody else said, I moved here not too long ago, so we used to have a wing fest where I came from. And then I thought to myself, in Miami, we had the wing ding. (laughs) Right? Uh And then I was like, well, I went to the Google, and I was like, well, when is the Colorado Chicken Wing Fest? And what did I find? Crickets. Nothing. Nothing. Zero. And I was like, that is unacceptable. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I then called a friend who moved here from Miami also, another one, not the one that we would come to visit, but another one. And he's lived all around Colorado, and he loves to go to festivals. He's okay. currently in fair play on, at 10,000 feet on a mountain somewhere. Mm-hmm. And he's a photographer. Actually, he's one of our amazing photographers for yes. Wing Fest, Mr. Okay. Alan Stemback. But he's gone to a bunch of the festivals, and I asked him, is there a chicken wing festival in Colorado? And he's like, no, I don't think so. And I was like, what do you think if I started one? And he was the first person to not tell me no. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then as I kept asking other people, what if there was a wing festival? Everybody just kept telling me yes until 
it became a thing. Right. And so here we are, three years later. Three years later. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that is how the best of the West Wing Fest All right. manifested itself. Um, let's keep biting. Okay. Let's keep biting. So chewing, we're going to the next one. Chewing and chatting. The and next one is the Mango Tango. Yes, which is the one that won in the first year. Oh, yes. Okay. The best sauce. Yes. Wow. All right. So let's see here. Well, I can see why. Mm-hmm. What a great taste that mm-hmm. is. Um, it's sweet. It's spicy. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, it, it's coming on. The, yeah, it is coming on. Mm-hmm. That's a really good way to describe it. It is coming on. Mm-hmm. But I'm not drinking anything yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. I'm not giving in. Mm-hmm. So, um, oh, yeah. I'm going to yeah. take a sip here just to. <laughs> I'm going to have another bite while you guys sit. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm going to guess that the majority of our listeners uh, have not been to the first two. Mm-hmm. And we're hoping they're going to come out mm-hmm. on September 16th to 14th. number three. 14th. 14th I'm yes. sorry, the 14th. Last year was September 16th. Okay. Yeah. I make that mistake all the time. So for those that have never been, um, talk to everybody and describe a little bit about what the experience is like from the, you know, from the yeah. minute you park. Like, what's it like? Well... Our venue is an amazing venue. It's the Western Museum of Mining and Industry. I have spoken to people that have lived here all their life, 20 plus years, and they've never been there. So tell people where it is. Yes. So it is off of um, I-25 and Northgate. Um, I think it's 225 Northgate Boulevard is the actual address. You can see it right off the highway. Yep. Um, it's, it's across be- from the Air Force Academy. Yeah. Across and, from yeah. the Air Force Pass- Academy. Beautiful views of the mountains. I mean, when you, you it can't get any more Western. It sounds than, like you're than struggling that. a little bit with I this. I am. <laughs> What's going on? I can feel the sinuses. <laughs> we, we bring tears to her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's that emotional, the wing <laughs> It's yeah. so emotional. Um, and... Um, it's, an, it's outdoors, yeah. um, and on the property, they have all these wonderful pieces of history in Colorado and mining, and they have these wonderful machines that um, at sporadic times throughout the year, they um, uh, turn them on, and they have volunteers that come to the property, and they put them on and stuff. For the Wing Fest, they do not do that, but you're still amongst all these machinery. Sure. Um, and then you walk in, and we have two ticket choices. We have VIP tickets, which gets you early entrance at noon. And then we have general admission um, um, entrance that lets you in at 1 p.m. Right. And the festival goes on until about 6. We have four live music bands this year. Um, this year for the VIP uh, uh, time, we have a an instrumental amazing band that we found at the black rose acoustic society if yes. no one has ever been there i go mean there. go yeah. there they yes. have amazing talent from all over okay um and um and then we also have our very own tony exum jr oh, sure. i'm um, gonna tony. jazz it up for us yeah. um we have a blues band the delta sonics the delta sonics okay. they're going to be playing and then we also have um closing us out is a reggae band mm-hmm. coming from the islands the lion soldiers lion ah. soldiers mm-hmm. so that's going to be a whole lot of fun we like to be able to showcase the different diversity that we have in our city so you know last year we, uh, in the last couple of years, we've had country, we've had folk, we've had bluegrass, we've had um, kind of gypsy, Spanish type music. Yeah. So I don't think that we ever want to pigeonhole ourselves into one specific type of music. We want to try to cater to everyone. Well, and I know that kids are welcome. Right. Yes. It's a family-oriented yes. yes. festival, right? There's not very many food festivals in Colorado that are family-friendly. Um, we are one of them. So we have a family fun zone. We've got gold mining for the kiddos from the, the from the mining museum. They, they're providing that. We've got other activities. We've got face painting. We've got bounce houses. Um, the gaming lab. There's a game. The gaming lab is a vendor that has like a trailer that has inside and outside games, okay. all, bo- a bunch of different types of consoles. So that's a lot of fun. Um, we've got ice cream yeah, <laughs> for the sure. kiddos. Everyone loves ice creams, young and old. Um, the ice cream line was long last year. Oh, it was wow. long last yes. year. People loved and the are ice they, cream. Are they food trucks? They're, some of them are. Some are. Yeah. Some are. Okay. And some are just ten by ten tents that come out. Um, we have two 
uh, competitions that attendees can sign up for beforehand. Yeah. Uh, who can eat the most wings and who can eat the hottest wings? We didn't bring the belt and the. We and didn't the, bring those those uh, trophies for that. So because but. I'm from the University of Miami, <laughs> right? and I, I don't I don't know how much you follow football, but they are the ones who came up with the turnover chain. Yes, that's right. So yeah. for whoever wins the spiciest competition, they win a turnover, a turnover, chain. turnover a chain. chain, and whoever yeah. wins who can eat the most wings wins a championship belt. belt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Um, and we usually have um, a dance team. We have had in the past a dance team perform a spicy number. This year, I have a very special treat for people. We have a, a friend of mine, my old college roommate. She is coming from Phoenix, and she's going to do a performance. She's an aerialist. Mm. And so she's going to do a performance on stage, and that's going to be really cool. There might um, be some fire involved. There okay. might be some yeah. fire involved. Yeah. Hopefully, we have there's to, no bands. Yeah, hopefully, there's <laughs> no fire bands. Yeah, we right. don't Keep know. <laughs> yes, that's it. Um, so, yeah, so it's just, you know, it's an all day affair. Bring the, you know, grandparents and the babies and the kiddos, bring everyone in between, your friends, um, to just come together and, and have a good time. We've got, right now, we have mm-hmm. 20 restaurants, food trucks, and caters that are yeah. competing to see who has the best wings. Four different categories that everyone that's there gets to vote. We do not have a panel of judges. Sure, okay. So, you know, judges get to supposedly have superior palates and tell us what they think is yeah. best. This is not the no. case for okay. us. It's the people. It's, it's the, the people. people. It's voted so on by the people. This is a, a perfect time to, to do a transition before we take a bite yes. into the, the spiciest the, one. The spiciest one. <laughs> so um, I realize that we're talking about Saturday, September 14th, 2024. No matter when you're listening to this, we hope that, you know, if you can't come in 2024, that you'll come in 2025. Yes. Absolutely. The web, the website, the web yes. address is best of the West wing com. Best of the West wing com. Okay. So what, what I want to do is I want to take a bite of this last one and then we'll, we'll, we'll wipe our tears. And then I want to start talking <laughs> a little bit about the food scene, the the, the wing scene yes. in mm-hmm. Colorado Springs, because if you're going to miss, if you happen to miss the festival, yes. we've got restaurants that we yes. want you to support. Yes. So Absolutely. let's yes. do this last okay. one. Okay. And, um, What's the name of the, the last one? This is The Surge. The Surge. The All surge. right. The Surge of okay. Tears. <laughs> Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, no biggie. It's not so bad. Oh, I feel it. It's coming. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I can feel it coming too. Mm-hmm. But it didn't. Um, mm-hmm. It didn't explode. Yeah. It's not. It's not spice to, for spice sake. Mm-hmm. It has flavor behind it, which is what I really like. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I thought yeah. I, I might have to dip that, but. Uh, no, that that really yeah. is okay. So that's the surge. Mm-hmm. So, um, like all cities, you've got a there's a restaurant scene. There's mm-hmm. kind of a vibe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, depending on your location, um, you know, we we have. I can tell you guys that uh, in 2023 we had 25 million visitors. Mm. Wow. Come to the Pikes Peak region. That's mm-hmm. amazing. It is. We, we yeah. have, so there's millions and millions of people, but so many off, you know, so often they're, they're coming to visit friends and family. Mm-hmm. They want to do outdoor recreation, mm-hmm. but, but let's talk about your restaurants that compete mm-hmm. and what are some of the spots that for listeners that can go to the website and check out if they missed the festival, <laughs> what are places that uh, you, you would recommend? I would recommend all of them, but of I, know, I know that there is one that is fairly popular in town when it comes to wings, and it's right off of uh, Fillmore there in 25. Yes. It's called O'Furries. Yes. O'Furries. You know, O'Furries. O'Furries is one that people speak highly of. We'll see what happens this year. It's their first time being at the uh-huh. Wing Fest. Okay. Yes, so we're we'll super see what excited happens. to have them and welcome them this year. Okay. You know, we'll see what happens when they come, and we'll see. We'll see. We'll just see. As for, like, food trucks, the winner of our first year was the Flighty Fowl, and the name of their wing was the peanut butter bacon jam. Ooh. Yes, that uh-huh. one was so so good. That sounds gourmet AF. And, huh? yeah. and they were, <laughs> <laughs> they were, 
they were only in business for like 30 days a month yeah when they won, they won festival the whole favorite oh my gosh yes yep. and and it was well deserved you know and it's funny because the community that all of the competitors start to form um mm-hmm. within the wing fest community is that it's it's one of like egging each other on and collaboration and they were like chastising him and saying that he cheated because he used bacon <laughs> and, and who doesn't love bacon right, right um but you know all kidding aside there has been um over the past two years there's been collaborations not only with the restaurants and the food trucks themselves but also with uh, the other vendors so apart from those 20 uh wing vendors we have over 45 different local small business vendors that um, sell everything from um, uh, spices and and gourmet spice blends. This year we have the occult, um, occult, herbs and tonics that they're going to be selling uh, their stuff at Wingfest this okay. year. We have um, uh, other clothing stores. We've got gourmet s'mores. What are some of the other names that you can just throw out to listeners? For Wings, we have Fat Shack. Fat Shack, mm-hmm. Fat Shack is amazing. Yeah. Um, their lemon pepper wings are very nice. Their lemon pepper okay. wings mm-hmm. are super nice. I Lu Shao's, who's, you know, out in Kawadi, yes. you know, they're very popular. They're honey hot. Oh, is yeah. one that we really enjoy. We've got Lebowski's Tap Room, which has been open just a few a months. Year. A it's year. It's been. Okay. They, um, I think today is their one year anniversary. Right. They're right off of Fillmore and Centennial. Yep. Mm-hmm. Super. I mean, the way that they do their wings is a little bit different. It kind of reminds us of one of our favorite places at home okay. back in Miami. So. And if you're out east, uh, a place we like to go to is the Buzz Crow Bistro. And if you've ever been yes. there, just if you are like, if you are have any emo in you. Oh, uh, yes. They, that place is super emo. If you like like The Crow, the movie The Crow okay. with, yes. with Brandon Lee, like all of their decor is that yes wow. and they have live music bands okay. and stuff like so it's not only a place to go and eat it's a place to go and have a good time mm-hmm. so buzz crow is really awesome um chef rob chef rob he's a food truck okay. he's amazing so wherever there's i know that there's like the 719 food truck battle you know if they happen to be in town for that don't miss that because they put on a great festival as well um, and promote a lot of the really great mom and pop food trucks that put their hearts and soul yeah. into their food. Sure. Yes. Well, you know what's kind of fun about just going through this list is that oftentimes a visitor will want to know. Um, so, like, where do the locals go? Yes. Yeah. They, 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 they the really do want to mm-hmm. experience yeah. the kind of non chains. Yes. Uh, yes. You know things that are that are family owned, and and it sounds like every place you've described truly fits that. Yes, uh, absolutely. It is exactly that. Now, yeah. our vision, although we do love to sh- to shed a light on our local food scene and all of our amazing um, businesses here in town, our ultimate goal is to have this be a regional festival okay. and have everyone come and congregate here in Colorado Springs. Well, think about it. This is the doorstep to the West. Yes. Yeah, it not, is. not Denver. No. no. Denver, right. you got to look for the like. <laughs> You're like, where are the mountains? It's got to be a clear day. I can see them right here. I can but see this, them from here. Yeah, this is the are. threshold yeah. right. to the West. And we actually have, um, so our first year, we only had Colorado Springs restaurants. Last year, we opened it up to other restaurants all over Colorado, including Denver. This year, a lot of those are coming back. Um, And I am very excited. This is the first time, Mm -hmm. this is our first official announcement right now. Yes. We are welcoming our first out-of-state restaurant. Yes. From Carlsbad, New Mexico. They are traveling to compete at our festival this so year. So this is now the best of, of the, the West. West. Wow. That's, <laughs> yes. That's fantastic. Uh, yes. Do you have anybody from Pueblo? Well, we know <sighs> tickets are being bought in Pueblo. We know tickets <laughs> are being bought in Pueblo. We don't have, I don't we think don't we have. We don't have any restaurants from we Pueblo. We don't have What's any restaurants. about mm-hmm. the timing of your, of the Wing Fest, which again is Saturday, September 14th. Yes. Yes. Um, it's about the same time as the Chili Festival. It's mm-hmm. close. It's yeah, close. Maybe a weekend apart. Yes. I don't know yes. the exact yes. date. But 
I think of our friends in Pueblo as as this would be right up their alley. Yes, yes. we have had a, a few restaurants um, contact us in the past okay. uh, to try to to make it in, but for whatever reason, it hasn't really worked okay. out at, just but yet. We are very but open to having. Them. <laughs> I we're still. I say that we will accept restaurants as close to. The D Day okay. as possible because yes. we want to make sure to try to include everyone. You know, without the restaurants, there's no wing fest. Exactly. So okay. Mm-hmm. So let me let me do this before we wrap. We I want to give a little shout out to uh, listeners about some exciting news from Visit COS. Awesome. Our annual Crafts and Drafts Passport, which runs through December 31st of each year, is available for more than 20 participating businesses. The free passport gives you access to deals and discounts at craft beverage spots all around the region. Whether you're a coffee fanatic or love a good IPA, great deals and rewards that are really something to write home about. So you can get those deals at visitcos.com slash passport. Now, we have determined that you guys have been here four years, right? Yes. Yes, sir. So, um, and you intentionally came here. So, Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you both this question and this first one. In three words, how would you describe Colorado Springs? Beautiful, calm. I would say welcoming. Okay. And potential. Beautiful, calm, potential. Welcoming. Welcoming. Grounding. 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 Um, and exciting. Talk about grounding. Well, um, coming from a place where there's lots of ocean mm-hmm. and there's you're surrounded by water, right. here we're surrounded by earth. So well, it's all Earth. The ocean is the Earth. Too. Yes, it is. It's the Earth most too. of the Earth, actually. <laughs> it is, it's most of the Earth. But you know, I I really enjoy after a long hard day work of work to go outside, um, and you know where we live. We, there's a trail right behind our house. Mm-hmm. I open the front door to my house, and boom, Pike's Peak is right there, yeah. like. I cannot, no matter what you do, where you go, you cannot escape the mountains. Right. And when you look at them, no matter what the what it is, there's they don't look bad. Sure. They're, oh, they, yeah. in, they look good in every single light. In South Florida, unless you live on the ocean, unless you work on the ocean, mm-hmm. you forget that you live by the beach. Yeah. You have to make it a purpose to actually go, to be able to see it and experience it. This, it surround you yeah, all the time beautifully said i think we'll we'll send this podcast down to the uh, miami chamber yeah <laughs> and let, let, let your friends hear about this okay um so do you say would you say that you have a favorite hidden gem that really you like to go to that is your your spot in yeah, terms that's of going to be a her question. In that's terms of question. food, in terms of no, a, a place like to a, visit, a, a, a or... place to go that you just feel like I can, mm-hmm. I can take, I, I can just be myself. And so can really be grounded. When we first moved here, we ended up renting a, an apartment in the Rock Rimmon area, mm-hmm. um, and it butted up against Ute Valley Park. Yeah, and. I would go on my lunch break. I would, after work, go to U Valley. And there are some people that go there, but you're only a local if you go there. Yeah. You don't really find tourists that go there. So I think that that is a really great hidden yeah. gem. Like U Valley is, depending on where you drop in, it's you can have a different experience. The mm-hmm. landscape in there is so vast. Yeah. Um, and from the outside, you don't realize what you're going to get yourself into. Okay. So mm-hmm. I really, really enjoy Ute Valley Park. Well, and Flip, you kind of referenced that when you first came here, mm-hmm. you would get on your bike. And so, like, do you have a trail that's your, your go-to trail? So my general answer when it comes to anything that has to do with favorites <laughs> is that I don't really like to rank order things right wherever i'm at that's where that's my favorite that's your, that's because <laughs> that's the only guarantee that i have yeah mm-hmm. yeah i get it i get it mm-hmm. so you have lots of trails that if you were to describe 
what what Ute Valley is mm-hmm. to residents. Yes. Is there a trail that you would say, yeah, you're more likely, th- I'm more likely to be riding with, with locals mm-hmm. than visitors? Well, I do like like the Captain Jacks uh-huh. and all those and going up and just roller coastering down yeah. <laughs> the mountain. But I, I do like to earn the up. So okay. I pedal every every stroke all the way all the way to the top i get it Mm -hmm. now it's funny that i moved here and now i mountain bike less than ever (laughs) (laughs) i used to race mountain bikes in florida and now i moved to a beautiful place to mountain bike and i try to do it at least once a month but um uh, yeah and Mm -hmm. it's getting close to wing fest time it's getting close to wing fest today is 30 days so yeah that's it that's it so um all right here's my third question um what is still on your bucket list in the Pikes Peak region that you have not done yet? Well, we haven't done many 14ers okay. yet. I want to do Conundrum. Well, but that's, but that that's not be, in the Pikes Peak not, region. That's yes. not the Pikes Peak region. Um, something that we have, I mean. There's another business I want to start. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we, um, we have a camper mm-hmm. and uh, um, What's the point of having a camper unless you use it, right? Um, it's kind of the same thing as a boat. Right. So um, we try to, this past four years that we've lived here, we every summer we go uh, like four to five camping trips to try to explore our new home state sure. um, as much as we possibly can. So um, this past uh, this past 4th of July, we camped at 11 Mile Reservoir. Mm-hmm. That is a, such a beautiful area. Um, last year, we camped at the 11 Mile Canyon, which is right next door to that. Um, gorgeous views, so many beautiful things. Yeah. Um, trying to think of things that we haven't have you, done. Have you been to the top of Pikes Peak? Have you taken we have. The okay. Yes. Yeah. You, we you, haven't taken the cog yet. Taken we the haven't cog. There taken you the go. Cog. That All is right. something that we haven't done yet, and I need to check that off my list. Yeah. I would. Yeah, there we go. We we've That's done the one. incline many times. Yeah, I just did it on. He Sunday. just did it mm-hmm. this weekend. Yeah. Um, and uh, there's just again, I try to get out there as much as possible. I, to I, sh- and we probably don't even yeah. know what we don't know. Yeah, we, well, we don't know what we don't know. You have to go to yeah. visitcos.com, yes. look at attractions, and Absolutely. just everything. And, and the visit the COS things. Instagram is also really awesome. It's, yeah. it's always on my list. I'm always looking at what you guys are up to. Mm-hmm. So I love it. Mm-hmm. Well, in wrapping, uh, let's be sure and tell listeners um, where they can get more information on the festival and, and kind of follow you guys. Yep. So best of the West wing okay. on Facebook, best of the West wing fest on Instagram, best of the West wing fest, real easy for everyone. Um, and yeah, just try to get your tickets now. We're going to sell out, yep. um, uh, which is a great problem to have. Yep. We're already in talks with larger venues for next year okay. uh, to be able to have more people enjoy the festival. Um, and that's that's basically it. That's great. Well, uh, thank you both very much for being here, for bringing the wings, for yes. bringing some beverages. And uh, I, I just love the entrepreneurial spirit I think that um, that's part of what the West is about. Yes. That people come out here, they breathe the air, mm-hmm. and they think about what's possible. And you all are living it. And you're making this community uh, a better place for residents, and you're making it a, a, a special place for visitors who get a chance to experience the festival, Go to your site and look at all these places that they can support year-round. So awesome. thank you both, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you at the festival soon. Thank, thank you. you. Yep. <laughs>